Gunside aiming point cameras record German jet-propelled aircraft in combat. The ME-262 is a turbojet plane whose operation resembles a rocket. It uses the turbine only to operate the air compressor to supply oxygen to the engine. Propulsion is provided by expansion of gases in the combustion chamber, as in a rocket jet. The ME-262 is a single-seat fighter bomber with two turbojet units underslung and projecting beyond leading and trailing edges. Four 30-millimeter guns are grouped in the nose of the fuselage. Length about 35 feet, span about 41. Pointed nose, very slender at the rear. It has a single fin and rudder of large area. The tail plane is set high on the fuselage. Maximum speed between 10 and 30,000 feet, about 500 miles an hour. Requires a large turning circle. Can be outturned by American and British fighters. The ME-163 is a rocket jet plane, carries its own oxygen supply, therefore is not hampered by thinning atmosphere and high altitudes. Fuselage, melon seed in shape. Sharply swept back wings give the plane the appearance of a boomerang or flying wing. During the last half of September, the Luftwaffe reappeared tentatively after a long lull and promptly bore the brunt of fighter attacks. Gunsight aiming point cameras reveal how surely fighter guns found Nazi planes as well as Nazi transport. ME-163, Nazi jet-propelled fighter. Gunside aiming point cameras show some of the violent treatment 8th Air Force fighter pilots gave German ground targets in November. when the fighters escorted heavies deep into Germany, the Luftwaffe put up one of its rare defenses in force, lost 208 planes. Here are some of the reasons.
Our fighters continue to overrun the Luftwaffe. Gunside aiming point cameras parade this destruction of Nazi planes and equipment whenever and wherever they appear. Gunside aiming point cameras show versatility of our fighter tactics. Getting them right after takeoff is the kind pilots dream about. A Focke Wolf 190 is closed to good range. This ME 109 is a piece of cake. RAF talk for a setup. Should never miss this kind. Another ME-109 is speared by good shooting in a 15-degree deflection shot. A Focke Wolf 190 tries evasive action, but things get too hot for this Nazi. His bailout seems premature, but whatever his reason, these pictures give our pilot a clear credit for victory. A slow roll doesn't keep this Focke Wolf 190 from being hit. Our pilot does a good job staying with him and gets him in the belly tank. Good shooting from above and behind. The gun sight aiming point camera records fighter kills over Europe. The Focke Wolf 190 is attacked. A Messerschmitt 109. Strafing of a Focke Wolf 190 and a Messerschmitt 109. More strafing. A Heichel caught on the ground. An ME-109. Another ME-109. An airfield is dropped. Hits are scored on planes parked in front of hangars. Fighter bombers, in cooperation with our ground forces and the drive on Rome, attack enemy transportation facilities in this area during the third week in May. Wing-mounted automatic cameras record the action. From an altitude of 600 feet, A-36 is strafe motor transport on Italian Highway No. 6, the most direct road connecting Rome and Casino. 
target, a highway bridge at Civita Castellana, north of Rome. The bridge is strafed and 500 pound bombs are dropped. Approximate altitude during the attack, 300 feet. near Frosinone, southeast of Rome. The fighter bombers drop motor transport on the highway and bomb the road. Another run in the same area. Two trucks are dropped. Target, a railroad bridge at Monte C. Savino. Armed with two 500-pounders, this A-36 starts its dive at 7,000 feet. Target, Seitze, on a ladder road connecting the two important Italian West Coast highways, the Via Casalina and the Appian Way. northwest of the town is bombed. Target, a railroad tunnel north of Terracina. The tunnel was on a rail line that was one of the main escape routes for the German army in their retreat northward. The railroad was bombed and strafed from about 2,000 feet. Target, motor transport on the roads near Castro de Volci. Near the 5th Army front, A-36s strafe and bomb enemy trucks. follows the twisting course of a valley, looking for targets on a highway perched on the hillside. He hurdles a mountain ridge and continues his strafing on the other side. <laughs> 